All right, welcome everyone. My name is Chris Palmer from AviatorTraining.com, coming to you from Alaska. So I am uh, setting up for a power on uh, takeoff departure stall or climb departure stall. So it's emulating that we've just taken off from the airport, we're climbing out, and our angle of attack is too high, and we exceed the ability for the airplane to produce that lift. All right, so you're on going to get set up for this by just pulling the power back. I come down to 1600 RPM every time if I'm setting up for slow flight, power on, power off, whatever it is. That just gets my airspeed down. What we're doing is we're emulating takeoff speed, all right? We're going to get to about 60 knots here on the airspeed indicator. I'm just going to hold that nose back until we lead up that speed. And then I'm going to power it up, get a pitch angle or an angle of attack, and maintain that until I get the uh, stall. When I get the stall, the torque is going to want to pull us over, so I really need to maintain rudder discipline. All right, so there's 60. I'm going to power it up, lots of right rudder. I'm going to set it and leave it right there. Just lots of rudder, lots of right rudder. And there's the buffet. Wing forward first. I've arrested the stall. And now I'm already full power. I just come nose above the horizon just slightly, and I'm already climbing up. Okay? So that's all it takes for a power on stall. Again, that torque is going to want to pull you over. So we want to use a lot of right rudder during that process. And I'm still holding right rudder pressure right now. That coordination is very, very important. We got to unload the wing first before we uh, recover the airplane. I'm going to come around and do one more, all right? Pull this power back just slightly. Scanning for traffic here, make sure there aren't any conflicts. Beautiful view. This is our practice area. All right, so let's try that again. I'm gonna pull that power back. I've already got my carb heat in. And I'm gonna use this heading of those uh, that shoreline out there. You do wanna maintain your heading during this maneuver as well. And that rudder discipline will help you do that. Okay, pulling it back. Of course, reducing the power, I'm going to have to pull the pitch up, get that angle of attack higher. Okay, we're down at 60. Here comes the power. Lots of right rudder. And getting that angle. Right about there is going to do it, and I just keep it there, alright? I'm not looking at the instruments at all. I'm just feeling the airplane right now. There it is. Okay, now we're flying the wing again. And nose above the horizon. That's all it takes. Reducing that angle of attack from the critical angle of attack and we're climbing again. Okay, that's all it takes. Now, I want to show you something else. This is a fundamental principle of how you, uh, how an airplane is built and the stability of the airplane. You're going to have to check that out in another video. It's going to be called uh, Stability and Stalls. Okay, so smash that subscribe button, share this with another aviation friend or someone in the community, and I will see you next time. Until then, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.